Hello, my name is Kelly Brenberg, and I am going to teach you how to make four different easy heart animations using Procreate. And if you have not used animation in Procreate, no worries, I'll talk you through every step, and it is a really fun and easy to learn process. So let me show you what we're gonna make today. We're gonna make this heart, and I call this a hand-drawn heart because it looks like it's being drawn as we are looking at it. And then we are going to create this beating heart. And I'll make this a little bit smaller so you can see it. I'm gonna hit play and it's a little beating heart and we'll do that one. And then we're gonna use the same beating heart and put it on top of a chat sticker kind of thing. We're gonna put it on top a little of a little chat bubble here and it's gonna be the same kind of effect but just with a little chat bubble underneath it. And then the last one we're gonna do, I call Red Heart Ping Pong. And this is a heart that is subtly kind of changing colors as we go and it's wiggling a little bit. So these are really easy to do, it's really fun. You can use them in Instagram stories with your own colors. Um, and let's get started. So we are going to create a new canvas. I am gonna use a canvas that I already have saved. It's called Sticker Square, and this one is 1500 by 1500 pixels with a DPI of 300. So I'm gonna start by grabbing a monoline brush, and this is the monoline brush that comes with Procreate. So here I am going to just draw a heart, and this does not have to be perfect. It's gonna look a little bit better if it looks a little bit organic and hand-drawn. I think that looks good. I am going to make it just a little bit bigger. I'm going to center it. That looks good. We're gonna be erasing away little bits of the heart to get that um, effect that it's being drawn before our very eyes. And I will show you exactly what I mean. But first, let's turn on Animation Assist by going to Wrench, Canvas, and Animation Assist on. And here you'll see that a new thing pops up here at the bottom. And these are frames. Frames are exactly the same as layers, which you're probably familiar with in Procreate. But I'll show you more about what I mean. So let's just keep going. I'm gonna duplicate this hand-drawn heart and I'm gonna to toggle down to the bottom one. And you'll see here, now we have two frames just like we have two layers. I'm gonna to go to the settings here and I am going to turn the onion skin frames to two and the onion skin frame opacity to about 30%. What I'm gonna do next is turn on the drawing guide as a guide for how much we wanna erase. So I'm gonna to go to wrench, drawing guide on, I'm gonna to go to settings and I'm gonna edit my drawing guide by making it bigger. So here I'm gonna have it at about 300 pixels and I'm just gonna use those little squares as a guide for how much I'm going to be erasing. So I'm doing it at a relatively consistent pace. So when you draw a heart, you would go in this direction, like start at the bottom, that's how I would do it. So I'm gonna erase away in the opposite direction. So I'm on my bottom layer here and I'm gonna erase the tail that I would have drawn in last. And I'm gonna just erase away about a square every time. And um, you can see here that you wanna be a little bit careful right around where it's connecting there and then you don't have to be so careful after that. You just wanna make sure that you're not erasing away any of the heart that you want to remain on there. So we're just gonna keep going in the same fashion. So duplicate, navigate to the bottom layer, erase away about a square. Duplicate, navigate to the bottom, erase a square. Same thing. And I'm gonna speed up the video a little bit while we just keep doing the same thing until we're at the beginning of our heart. 
So here we are at our last frame. It's been duplicated and you could either erase or you could tap on that and just clear it so it's gonna be completely clear. Let's hit play and test our animation. It's a little fast, so I'm gonna show you how to fix that. So I'm gonna to navigate to settings here and the frames per second, you can make it really, really fast or you can bring it down and the speed will depend on the animation. I think for this one, about 11 looks good. What I wanna to do to make this animation a little bit better is I'm gonna pause it on the very last frame. So I'm navigating here to the bottom to the frames and I'm gonna give it a hold duration of about six. Let's try that. And then we'll see what that looks like. And I like that effect. And you can see here when you have a hold duration of six, you'll have six little grayed out hearts or whatever it is you're working on here that shows you that there is a hold duration in the animation. Next, we're gonna talk real quick about the difference between GIFs and stickers. A GIF will have a background like this red heart does. It has a white background. And if you remove the background, then it becomes transparent and then it becomes a sticker. And that's what you'll use a lot in Instagram stories. They're transparent, so you can put it on top of a photograph. When you're using a sticker on Instagram, you'll wanna crop the canvas, and I'll show you how to do that. You go to Wrench, Canvas, Crop and Resize, and then you bring in the canvas just like this so it's close. And that's so when you are using it, again on Instagram stories, it won't show up really small. It'll show up as large as it possibly can. And then from there you can make it smaller if you want. This next one is the beating heart animation. And for that, we're gonna use a stamp that I gave you. Here are the um, brushes that came with the class. They're called KBB heart stamps. They're two of the same one. The first one does not change colors and the second one does. And let me show you what I mean by that. So again, I have a pink here. I'm just gonna make it just a little bit darker so you can see. Um, so here's a heart stamp. You can use it just like that. You can make it bigger or smaller. It's gonna tilt a little bit. If you don't like that effect, you can change it by going to this arrow and straightening it out however you want it. Um, so that is the first one. And the second one's exactly the same, except it's color changing. And you'll see what I mean here. This has, um, will change colors. And here in the color dynamics, all of that is controlled under the stamp color jitter and the hue. So if I want to make it all the colors possible, then, then I want a max hue jitter. If I want just a subtle one like I had before, I could do about 27% and then it will just show me the colors that are next to whatever color I selected. So there you go. You can use those for anything and let's keep going with our animation. So I'm gonna make a heart stamp and I'm gonna make it as big as possible while still fitting the screen. That looks good. I am actually not crazy about that color, so I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna to go to Magic Wand, Hue Saturation Brightness Layer, and I'm just going to make that different. That's better. Okay, so we have our first heart, and we want it to be set up on the page we want the way we want it. And then what we're gonna do is turn Animation Assist on again. So wrench, Animation Assist, toggle on, and then we'll get the same bar we got at the bottom that we saw. And we're just gonna duplicate our top part, navigate to the bottom one, and we're gonna make this heart just a little bit smaller here. We're gonna do that one more time. Duplicate, go to the bottom, make it a little bit smaller. And we'll do it one more time and see what that looks like. And here I have all of my onion skin frames on, and that's fine, you'll just see what that looks like. It can be handy for something like this. So here we have a heart beating really fast. I am going to go to settings, change my frames per second to about six. And I forgot that I wanted those little 
um, lines at the side. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that real quick. I'm gonna group all of these together just by toggling on, and then I'm gonna go to this wrench so I can move them all in unison. And again, that's gonna be centered. That looks good. And we are gonna add those little lines to the side. So we're gonna start with the top one. I'm gonna grab, again, just the Procreate monoline here. I'm gonna draw three little guys over here that kind of show a beating heart. And to make it easy, I'm going to select it, copy, another swipe, paste, and I am going to grab those and I'm going to flip, not vertical, horizontal and just move them over, drag them over so they're on the other side of the heart. So we have these on two different layers. I'm going to pinch this and now it's all on one layer. And what we're just gonna keep doing is drawing these little um, guys on each different layer and they're going to be just a little bit different so that'll be whenever you trace even if you're trying to trace it exactly the same you'll get a little bit of variation and that'll create a little wiggle and you'll see what i mean when we're finished with this animation so i'm just kind of tracing over every time making it not perfect and on to the last one Okay, let's hit play. And so now you can see here that along with the beating heart, we have our wiggling little guys at the side. So this looks a little off and what we want to do is see if the changing the settings will help. Let's go to ping pong and see how that looks. That way it's getting bigger and smaller, bigger and smaller. I like the way that looks better than the loop. It looks more like a beating heart. So that looks good. And what we're gonna do in our next animation is we're gonna use the same animation to create the heart in the chat sticker. So I'm gonna swipe this one over. I'm gonna hit duplicate. And I'm gonna go to the new one. And for this one, I'm gonna turn off the transparent background color because I'm gonna put this in a white uh, chat bubble. And in order to accommodate the white chat bubble, we need to, need to make this a little bit smaller here. So I'm gonna to go to these, group them together, go to the arrow, make them smaller in unison. I don't actually want those grouped, so I'm just gonna tap on there so they're done. I'm gonna add a new layer. I'm gonna, gonna drag it to the bottom and I'm going to grab a white. I'm still using my monoline. I'm gonna make um, an ellipse there. I'm gonna color fill it in and I'm gonna make that little, whatever that is, chat tail. Because animation assist is on, you'll see this chat bubble, and even though it's at the bottom, you won't see what's on top of that. And to fix that, we're gonna to go to settings, and we are going to make sure we are on our white chat bubble, and we're gonna set that as the background. And that way, everything else in the animation will be moving while that chat bubble holds steady in the background. In the next one, I'm also gonna show you how to export your GIFs. So let's create a new canvas. I'm gonna use the color palette that comes with this class to draw different hearts. So let's get started. I'm gonna draw a heart using the monoline. Again, kind of organic, whoops. So I'm gonna color fill that first heart using the lightest pink. I'm gonna turn animation assist on, wrench, canvas, animation assist on, and I'm gonna go and create a new layer above that. And then I'm gonna use the next darkest pink and I'm gonna draw another heart. And as I'm drawing the hearts, I want to vary the size a little bit um, so we can get that wiggling effect we saw before. I'm just gonna erase away those little tails here because I don't want them here. We're just gonna keep going in the exact same way. So new layer, new pink, a little bit darker, new heart, similar but a little different, new layer, darker pink. That one I got. 
let's just test that. That's four frames right now. Let's see how that looks. That looks good. It's too fast. We know that. So settings, frames per second. Let's bring it down to seven. See how that looks. And that looks good. A little uncentered. So let's just center them. Let's group them all together and bring them to the middle there. Okay, let's do a few more hearts to give a little bit more variation. And again, we'll be going a little bit darker each time. So one, two, three, four, this is our next color. And let's do one more time. Whoops, that one went off the page. Grab my eraser, fix these little tails. Okay, let's see how that looks. I think that looks really good. I'm gonna go to my settings and change it to a ping pong animation. I think this one looks a lot better as a ping pong. And um, I'm gonna turn off the background color so we can see how it would look on a transparent background. I think that looks really good. And to export a GIF, you go to Wrench, Share, Animated GIF, and here you'll see a preview of how your GIF will look. And you could change the things here as well, like obviously 20 is way too fast, but just so you know, you can play around with the frames per second here as well. And I am going to hit export and it will save to my camera roll just like anything else. So I'm going to hit save image and it'll go right to my camera roll. When I started doing animation, I was surprised by how fun and easy it is. And if you would like to learn more easy and fun animation tricks, please check out my Skillshare classes. I have four Skillshare classes and all four of them are on animation using Procreate. The newest one shows you how to create heart gifts like this and star gifts and easy uh, stickers that you can use in your Instagram stories. My name is Kelly Bren Burke. Also, if you'd like, please follow me on Instagram at Kelly Bren Burke. Thanks, and I will see you next time.